Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are gonna get back into working with resin and I'm super, I'm super excited. I've wanted to play with this mold since I got it, which was kind of a long time ago. <laughs> Obviously I had to keep putting this off as like, you know, moving in like to this new space and like all, all, all kinds of stuff has been happening. So it's finally time to play with this mold and this is the mold that we're gonna be using but it has something fun about it that I just, I'm so excited to use this. Like, I can't wait. But if you guys are interested in seeing what we can do with this mold and what this uh, weird piece is for, then continue watching. Okay, so this mold is made by Danner Builds and he is on Instagram. I've gotten molds from him since I found him on Instagram. So he comes out with all different kinds of super cool molds and this is one of those super cool molds. Actually, he was also the guy that made my New Hampshire mold. So if you haven't looked him up on Instagram, he's amazing and his wife is amazing as well. She works with resin and all of the molds that they make together. They're awesome. So I'm really excited to use this mold. Um, it is obviously a crescent moon mold, but this really cool piece is an optional piece that you can get uh, when you buy the mold. So obviously the base mold is a really pretty, look how flip and shiny that is. Um, it's a really pretty crescent moon mold, but if you get this extra piece, you can literally put it on the bottom here. Did you just freak out? Did you just freak out like I did when I realized what this extra piece was for? So you can make like a crescent moon mold or a crescent moon piece that like sits, like stands up on its own. You can put this piece like anywhere on the rounded edge here and it'll make a flat edge so that the piece that you pop out can stand on its own or you can just make a crescent moon piece. Like it's optional, you can do, <sighs> the versatility is my favorite part of this mold. So I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm gonna go crazy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I know that, and you guys know that. Um, but what I was talking about was, I don't know if I'm gonna make two of these. I don't know. Obviously, we are going to be making a piece with this um, optional flat edge part so that I can make a flat edge stand on its own crescent moon, but I don't know if I wanna also make a full crescent moon. So I think I just decided we are gonna be crazy. We are gonna make two of these. I'm gonna make one that stands on its own with this extra piece. And then the next one, I'm gonna take this extra piece out and we're gonna make a full crescent moon one. So I'm really excited. So since we're making two, I need to come up with two different styles. And I think what I'm gonna do with the first style is I kind of wanna do obviously like a galaxy styled like pinks and purples but I what I want to do is add in some like white wispies in a couple of areas to kind of make that look like clouds so we're gonna do that oh also you know what just like popped into my head is I have glitter that has like little stars in it that's literally perfect and then the other one maybe I'll try to incorporate some flowers I will have to dry some because I don't have any on hand right now but I think we're gonna try to incorporate some flowers into the second one. So we're gonna get started on that first layer with the white wispies and a little bit of glitter. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, before we get into popping this out, which I'm so excited to pop this out, excuse the noise. I gotta get a mic, a little like, what do you call them? Like lavalier or something like that. I know I messed that up just now. <laughs> just like a little mic that goes here so that we don't have to hear none of that. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna pop this out now. I just, what? I'm so excited. So I've seen them do like little videos on Instagram with these molds. And they usually show like putting a little, like something heavy on this part just to hold it down. So that's what I did as well. And when I came back in uh, today, it had like fallen off or something. So I think a little bit of resin kind of like creeped in here. We're gonna be fine. I think that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna start to pop this out. I think I'm gonna try to like get this to come off first. I kind of just wanted to pop this out together because I'm so excited. And plus, I get a lot of comments of people saying that they like to pop things out together so that we can kind of freak out at the same time. Okay, so that little piece will stay on, I guess. Okay. Okay. Super easy to come off. And then just like a little bit of sanding. I think it'll be totally fine. Okay. What do you guys think? I haven't looked at it. I'm only looking at it in the viewfinder right now. I kind of love it, even though I haven't looked at it. Okay, I'm gonna look at it myself. Oh my God, it's so much better in real life than it is in the viewfinder. I know that sucks for you. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to get some close-up shots of it. You guys, what? That white just like, it did amazing things. <laughs> it like did like a weird like, this motion, it did like something super cool looking. Like I said, I'm gonna get some close-up shots. Here they are. So, I love this. Are you guys obsessed with this just like I am? Look how pretty! I feel like since you can put this like anywhere on like the rounded part of the moon, I love the spot that we chose because I like the almost like, huh? Like it's not just sitting straight, it's like kind of a little like slanted. Oh, it's so, it's so perfect, it's so pretty. I love this. I love like the versatility of this mold. So now we're gonna get into making a crescent moon piece without this little stand part. I know that you guys kind of get the gist of it with this, but I still, I want to make a flowery one and I wanna look at both of them and I wanna go ooh and ah. Plus, this one is for like sitting on a table or something and the other one without that flat piece is gonna be like hanging on the wall kind of piece. So they're, they're two different kinds of pieces, you know? This is basically like two molds, right? Two molds in one to get this like extra piece. I just, I can't get over it. So we're gonna get into making a piece without the little flat part and then we will see how it goes. I'm gonna try to, oh my God, it's a blue beard. <laughs> um, we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put that down now. <laughs> I'm gonna put some flowers in this second one and then we will go from there.
Okay, so it's 24 hours later. I'm so excited to pop this out. Also, did you notice that we put chamomile flowers in here? Like chamomile, night time, sleepy time, moons, anyway. So I'm gonna pop this out now. I did do like a black background just because I kind of wanted it to contrast the white and the yellow of the flower and then also like the light pink that we also put in there. I got a sneak peek, I'm so excited. Stop. Stop. My ring light is kind of making it hard to show you guys. But I think you guys can see Okay, freaking stop. Hold the phone, stop for one second. This is so pretty. It looks so good. Okay, so I wasn't sure if the black was gonna look good or bad with like all the different colors that we had going on here. The white, the yellow, the pink. I did also put a little bit of glitter in there because you guys know me. If you watch any of my videos, you know that glitter is usually like 99% of the time it's involved. So I did put just a tiny bit of like pink glitter it is so pretty the pink white mixture is so wispy and so pretty again i want to point out that we put chamomile in here and that wasn't even on purpose um i just saw a chamomile here i grabbed it and i dried some i cannot i can't this is literally perfect this is so pretty so i also have the other oops the other one here and I want you guys to pick which one you like more. I am gonna pick this one, obviously. I just, I love the black. It is so cool. It kinda goes with my whole black and pink vibe today, right? Doesn't it? I almost just, this is, this looks dangerous. <laughs> but obviously this one's really cool because it, they're both like two different vibes. This is very like, I don't know, kinda like gives me witchy vibes and then this is very like, pastel and soft i really love this one especially with the star glitter in it and like the cloudy like wispiness in there it's very like dreamy i think is the word i've been trying to come up with for this this is dreamy and then this one is just oh, it's amazing it's so pretty i love this so i'm going to show you some close-up clips of this now so you guys can see it in all of its beautiful detail i don't know why i keep putting it on my face like a beard <laughs> So like I said, let me know which one is your favorite. I just like, look at them together too. They, they definitely go together. I feel like you could have one hanging up on your wall and one like sitting on a table, maybe in the same room. I don't know, but I love these. I think they're super pretty. Again, this one is my favorite. I just, and the chamomile, the chamomile in a moon is just like, it's perfect. So I feel like we can all agree that this mold is super fun. I love this mold and I kind of can't wait to keep playing with it. I love the versatility because this is literally like two molds in one, right? Because like you can take this out, make a full crescent moon, or you can put it in and make it like a tabletop kind of piece. I just, I can't get over this. I think it's so cool. So as always with these videos, I will link Philip Danner's um, like Instagram and his shop down below if you wanna check him out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the pieces that we made. 
Make sure you're following me on Instagram. It is at Artsy Mad Woman and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so freaking much and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.